In this video, I will show you how to create heat maps in Microsoft Excel. So let, let us examine first our sample data. So we have a company that has different branches within Metro Manila. And we display the amount of sales on a monthly basis. Now, let me use heat maps to determine on which particular month each city has a greater amount of sales or lesser value of sales. How to create heat maps? Let me highlight the values from C4 to N13. And then let me go to Home tab and let us use conditional formatting. Under conditional formatting, you can find here the color scale. And you can select any color scale available in the selection. Let me choose here the red, white, sorry. Let me choose here the green, white, red color scale. So the one with green has the higher value of sales and white is the average while red has the small amount of sales. So let me click on that one. And as you can see, Excel generates heat maps on this area. Now, to make this more neat, we can actually remove the figures on this heat maps. But the problem here is this. When you try to delete the value of the cell, Excel will also remove the format of that cell. And we don't that want to happen in this table. In order to remove the values, Without removing the format, let me highlight this area from C4 to N13. Right click and then go to Format Cells. And under Format Cells, let me just go to Custom tab. And then for the general or type, let me type three semicolon. When you type three semicolon, Excel will hide the values of the cell while retaining the format for that cell. So click OK button. Now here is your heat maps determining the total sales per month per city or per branch of your company. And based on this, we have a large amount of sales under Paranaque City for the month of June, July, and August. While we have a declined amount of sales on the values on the branches of Manila from January to April and also from October to December. When you double click on the cell, the value is still available. However, with the use of format cell, we can hide them and we can focus on the values of the conditional formatting color scales. And that is how we can create heat maps in Microsoft Excel.